Hello, Lucky Stars! And to all who can see this video, have a blessed day. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe and enjoy learning with me. In this video, I am going to share to you the divisibility rules in order for you to determine whether a certain number is divisible or can be divided by another number. When we say divisible, that means can be divided exactly without a remainder. Now, let's proceed to the divisibility rule of 3. If the sum of the digits of a given number is a multiple of 3 or can be divided by 3, that number is divisible by 3. Okay? Let us examine these examples. This is 324. This number has three digits. And what we are going to do is to add the digits. Three plus two plus four equals nine. Yes, nine. And since the sum is a multiple of three, meaning when we multiply three by itself, we can get the product of nine. Three times three is nine. So it is multiple of three or can be divided by three. Therefore, this number 324 is divisible by 3. Another example. 621. Okay, 621, it has 3 digits. So we will just add 6 plus 2 plus 1 equals. Again, 9 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, 621 is divisible by 3. Another example. 1002. This number has 4 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4. We will just add this. 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 equals 3. The answer is 3. Divisible by 3, of course. So, 1002 is divisible by 3. We can compute also in our mind. We can uh, solve mentally. By just looking at it, we can solve mentally and then we can determine whether a number is divisible by 3. Another one. 21,210. There are five digits in this number. So we will just add. We can add mentally. 2 plus 1, 3. Plus 2, 5. Plus 1, 6. Plus 0, 6 again. Okay, the answer is 6. So, 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 equals 6. 6. 6 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, 21,210 is divisible by 3. So, that is how to determine whether a number is divisible by 3. By just adding the digits of a number. And if the sum can be divided by 3 or a multiple of 3, meaning that number is divisible by 3. This time, we will tackle the divisibility rule of 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So, you still remember the rules for 2 and 3? Even numbers are divisible by 2. And for 3, if the sum of the digits 
of a given number is a multiple of 3, that number can be divided by 3 with an exact answer. Or, that number is divisible by 3. So, we must remember that rule because we will apply that in determining whether a number is divisible by 6. I'll give you an example. 312. The number 312 is an even number. It ends in 2. Meaning, it is divisible by 2. So, divisible by 2. And then, if we are going to add 3 plus 1 plus 2, the answer is 6. 6 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, 312 is divisible by 3. And since this number is divisible by both 2 and 3, this number is divisible by 6. 2 and 3. Always remember 2 and 3. And 2 and 3. Even numbers divisible by 2. The sum of the digits is 6 divisible by 3. That is the divisibility rule for 6. The two conditions must be present. Another example. 546. This number is an even number. So, it is divisible by 2. Then, if we are going to add the digits of this number, 5 plus 4 plus 6, the answer is 15. 15 is a multiple of 3. So, it is divisible by 3. Check also for 3. That means that 546 is divisible by 6. Okay, another one, 2010. 2010, it ends in 0, divisible by 2. If we add the digits 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0, the answer is 3. And also, divisible by 3. So therefore, 2110 is divisible by 6. Next example. 34,602. This number is an even number. Divisible by 2. And if we add the digits, 3, 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 0 plus 2, the answer is 15. So, 15 divisible by 3. So, this number is divisible by 6. Last example, 11,034. 11,034. It is an even number because it ends in 4. And then if we add the digits... 1, 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 3 plus 4 equals, what is the answer? The answer is 9, of course, 9. So, since the answer is 9, it is divisible by 3. That means that this number, 11,034, is divisible by 6. That is the rule for Six. Now, let's proceed for 9. The divisibility rule for 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is a multiple of 9 or can be divided by 9. Examples. 891. 891. Just add the digits 8 plus 9 
plus 1, the answer is 18. 18 is a multiple of 9 or can be divided by 9. So, 891 is divisible by 9. So, as you can see, the rule for 9 is almost the same rule of 3. Another example, 54. 54, 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 is a multiple of 9. So, 54 can be divided by 9. Next example. Two thousand two hundred fourteen. Just add the digits two plus two plus one plus four. The answer is nine. Okay, multiple of nine. Therefore, two thousand two hundred fourteen is divisible by nine. Next example. Okay. 78,507. Again, add the digits. 7 plus 8 plus 5 plus 0 plus 7. The answer is 27. 27 is a multiple of 9. Because 9 times 3, the product is 27. So... This number is divisible by 9. Last example. 40,311. Okay. 40,311. Add the digits. You can do it in your mind mentally. 4 plus 0 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1. The answer is 9. Okay? 9. 9 is a multiple of 9. So, 40,311 is divisible by 9. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be updated of the next video that I am going to upload. I hope you enjoy learning with me. Thanks again. See you next time. God bless.